The Shiloh community in Elba wants a long term solution to persistent flooding issues. News 4's Michaela Simmons explains the next steps in the process. Members of the Shiloh community are looking for new ways to mitigate ongoing flood issues. Shifting toward uh, the pipeline there, the gas pipeline. Pastor Timothy Williams lives in Shiloh. As he walks around his home, he points out where rain frequently leaves its mark. His main concern? If the house collapse, we're going to be without a home. And so, uh, so that's why we've been praying that, Lord, don't let it rain no time soon, because we know that once it rains, because it's dry, so dry, and when that water comes, it's going to drop the foundation. It's going to completely go. William blames the Alabama Department of Transportation and its widening of the U.S. Highway 84. They did all of this. They brought in all the water and everything, and it flooded and it dropped our home. Our house is sinking. In a statement, ALDOT maintains that it has not increased the volume of stormwater runoff in Shiloh. ALDOT points out the project included measures to address drainage. Homeowners are leaning on Dr. Robert Bullard for help. He is an Elba native and a nationally prominent environmental justice advocate. Bullard is relying on families to identify areas of need and appeal to the federal government for funding help. Uh, for the record, this is not a one and done uh, project. We will be back. And when we come back, we hope that we will have more solutions and in some ways resources that have been um, earmarked for, for getting these problems resolved. In Shiloh, Makala Simmons for your hometown news leader. Al Dot says it takes these concerns seriously. The agency conducted its own assessment and used an outside engineering firm to review it. Al Dot is also exploring options to improve the drainage system and says that process remains underway.